Hey guys, and welcome back to Misha's Corner. So today we'll be making some sweet chili ribs kicked up a notch, and it's only a few ingredients, so let's get started. All right, guys, so to my ribs so far, these are pork ribs, by the way, guys, which I don't have much of on my channel at all, so it's perfect that I'm making this for a client, so I, you know, I took the opportunity to show it on my channel, because you guys know I don't eat pork, but I'm gonna add my Keith Loren, country barbecue spice onto my ribs you can use any spice that you prefer salt and pepper only could even work here at this point and you want to put some pepper y'all know i love pepper and um some salt and then that's pretty much it mix it up and allow it to marinate all right guys so i have some orange juice right here and i also have a store-bought sweet chili sauce which is what i'll be putting over the ribs and the ribs are going to be cooking in the orange juice in our pot and yeah that's pretty much it just a few ingredients guys just make your life a lot easier and yeah that's pretty much it all right guys so i have my cast iron skillet here you can use whatever pan you want for your ribs i'm going to pour my orange juice down in here Preheat your oven to 400 degrees because we want to get some color on these before I cut the heat back to 300 and let them cook for about two hours. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You also want your orange juice to get nice and hot before we cut the heat back. So it's going to be about 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. And then we're going to cut the heat back to 300 and let them cook for like two hours. And then I'm going to pour the sauce on there, and that's it. All right, guys, so in this bowl, I have orange juice. Once again, you're going to take your sweet chili sauce. You can use any brand you prefer. I just really like this brand because I like the little specks. You can see the little specks of chili in the chili sauce. You're going to mix this up, and we're going to pour this right over the ribs and finish them up. All right, guys, so you're just going to take your sauce, and you're going to pour it over your ribs. At this point, I'm going to cover them and allow them to cook for another 30 to 45 minutes. Because I really want the sauce to soak through in there. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'll show you guys what it looks like once they're done. They look amazing. Alright, guys. So, these are what my ribs look like. Just with no sauce. I took them right out of the pot. Now, I'm going to take the sauce from that was accumulated in the pot. And just pour it over my ribs. Mm. Oh my god. I hope y'all can see that. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. And if you try, tag me and let me know what you think. These are the easiest, most flavor efficient ribs that I've ever made and that you will ever make. And if you try, tag me and let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time on my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Look at God. Look at that. Yes. Mm. Y'all think she gonna like these ribs? Let me know. Comment below and let me know if y'all think she'll like these ribs. <laughs>